Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool little unofficial patch that you can get for a Windows XP VM or an older Windows XP computer called the Unofficial Service Pack 4. Now Windows XP has been out of support for like a while now. I mean, it's it's been out of support since April 2014. And this piece of software that I'm about to show you guys in this video is nothing new. So the idea behind this, uh, just to kind of give you a brief little history here, uh, the author who actually created this wanted to basically have a sort of a one-stop shop to get the latest updates for Windows XP, uh, all, you know, already set up and installed, you know, for things like Internet Explorer, .NET Framework, and Windows Media Player, and, you know, some of the programs that you would use in Windows Windows XP, getting those latest versions installed and um, most of the, you know, updated security patches installed as well without having to go through like, you know, updating the service pack three and downloading a crap ton of updates. It was basically kind of getting you to the latest point, you know, once Microsoft killed off support in 2014. And uh, so what we're going to be doing in today's video is just taking a look at this. I'm going to have this uh, link down below. This is a free piece of software. You can download it. I actually got it from the Major Geeks website. So you can go ahead and actually, you know, check this out if you want to. Um, obviously, it's not really recommended to use Windows XP on a daily driver computer, like on a computer that you use every day, because even with this pack, it's still unsecure. This is a very old operating system. This is really only recommended for you to actually use in a VM or on an old computer, you know, just kind of for fun, just to kind of, you know, test this out and just kind of see how Windows XP works, if that interests you. So, um, like I said, I'm going to have everything that you need down below in this video's description for you guys to actually go ahead and check it out. Let's just get started. We're going to go ahead and actually run the setup file right here. This uh, setup file weighs in at around one gigabyte. And when you open it up here, it, this entire process is actually going to look very, very similar, if not identical, to the regular uh, Windows XP Service Pack 3 or Service Pack 2 or even Service Pack 1 installation. And one of the other cool things is you can install this, like I'm using Service Pack 3 right now on this XP install, but you can install this right on top of Service Pack 1. And you can also even integrate it to a Windows XP like setup CD to where this will be installed like right out of the box when you install Windows XP. So you can kind of uh, slipstream it into the Windows setup, which is pretty cool. But uh, yes, you don't actually have to like go through Service Pack 1, Service Pack 2, 3, and then install this one. You can just install, like if you install like the RTM release of Windows XP, you have to install Service Pack 1 first, but after that you can go right to Service Pack 4, and it will basically include all of the updates and, you know, components that Service Pack 2 and 3 would have come with as well. So that's definitely very useful and a huge plus. But here we go. So like I said, it looks very, very close to the regular Service Pack 3 set up process you have to agree to the um, unofficial license terms i mean obviously this isn't like it's written by you know uh, microsoft or anything but uh it just says you know this is an unofficial product it should yeah unofficial release please test it before deployment this product is not supported by microsoft um software remastered in 2014 and i guess this is the author's name right here there's actually multiple authors i guess um yeah, so there you go. And I guess there's, oh, so he, the author does include the Service Pack 3 EULA as well, since you basically are uh, installing Service Pack 3 updates if you didn't already have Service Pack 3 installed. So we're just going to agree to that, hit next, and we're going to archive files, and, um, you know, it uh, shows you what the uninstall folder is going to be. And uh, yeah, that is basically it. It's going to inspect your you know current configuration, go through this whole process, and it will install everything. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at what it actually installs, and you know some of the changes you know that it does, at least some of the more notable ones. Um, once this thing fully installs. All right, so good news. The service pack uh, has actually finished installing, and yeah, it is installed successfully, as far as I can tell. So we're just going to go ahead and press finish right here, and it's going to actually restart the computer and you know get everything fully configured for us once we actually boot back into it so uh let's just let it do that here all right so i believe this is actually going to take us through and this is very similar to how the other service packs work as well is it actually kind of goes back through the out of box experience and this actually even says thank you for installing windows xp service pack 3 so this actually wasn't changed at all so this should be identical to you know what service pack 3 normally does but we're just going to go ahead and you know uh, help protect the pc by turning on automatic updates which it's not really going to get many of them anyway all right 
Alright, so we are back. Uh, you might have been able to tell from that last clip that we did have to go through that sort of mini out-of-box experience where it just basically asks you if you want to enable automatic updates or not. That's actually a pretty standard thing that a lot of the Microsoft like official service packs do, at least with Windows XP here. Um, and we are logged in here, and you may notice that there's not really a whole lot of change at first glance, but that is because that a lot of the stuff is under the hood with, you know, updated security packs patches and you know things that you would get from Windows Update but there are a couple of uh, programs that have been added as well and I want to kind of briefly go through those and show you uh, what has been added um, first thing that I'm actually interested in is seeing if when we go to Winver here it actually still says service pack 3 so that has actually not changed and I believe that is also the same if we go to my computer and go into properties here uh, it does change the like version to version 2014 uh, that is new but it still says service pack 3 but if we go into the start menu here you can notice that a couple of things have happened number one Internet Explorer has been updated uh, prior to this it was using Internet Explorer version 6 it had the old icon and everything now I believe this is Internet Explorer 8 uh, yes here it is so we can go through here and you know set this up if we want to we're just not going to worry about that at the moment and uh, it's going to immediately tell us that our browser is out of date because this is still an old version of Internet Explorer. It's not really recommended to use it anymore, but it is uh, updated, you know, from Internet Explorer 6. You would obviously rather want to use this version than IE6 if you had to choose between the two. IE8 is, I believe, a separate update that you have to download from Windows Update. But uh, it's actually integrated into this unofficial service pack 4, which is definitely very, very nice. So that is one of the big changes, you know, that you can actually see, one of the actual uh, additional programs that have been updated. We also have, if we go into the All Programs folder here, you can notice we've got two uh, new programs, BitLocker to Go Reader and XPS Viewer EP. XPS Viewer is pretty self-explanatory. You can, you know, view XPS files. Um, this is a program that I believe... Uh, yeah, so the copyright date is uh, 2007. I remember seeing this, and I think it was Windows 7, maybe even Windows Vista, um, but it's definitely not something that comes like by default with Service Pack 3. So that is another nice feature that they have uh, integrated into uh, the unofficial Service Pack as well. You can see there's actually a, uh, some new icons here as well, so that's definitely a sign that this might have been a uh, Windows 7 or Windows Vista program that was ported over here uh, to XP. We also have BitLocker to Go Reader. BitLocker if you're not aware is actually an encryption um, method that Microsoft introduced with Windows Vista and it basically allowed you to encrypt your entire hard drive and um, obviously if you had used that feature and you were trying to access uh, those files on a Windows XP computer where uh, BitLocker is not a thing, you would have to get this program. So it's definitely very nice that they have bundled that in here as well. Obviously, it's not able to find a drive because I don't have a BitLocker enabled hard drive like in this VM here. But if we did, you would actually be able to, you know, decrypt it and actually read the uh, files off of the hard drive, which is definitely very useful, you know, if you want to actually use a BitLocker enabled drive on this computer. As for the programs, that is pretty much it, um, at least, you know, from what I can see here. One of the other big changes is if we go to Windows Update here, and that's at the very top here, um, this um, service pack has actually applied the POS Ready patch, basically, which if you're not really familiar with what that is, it's essentially... Uh, when Microsoft ended off support for XP in 2014, a lot of people, myself included, actually figured out that uh, a version of Windows Embedded, which is which was a POS Ready 2009, which I actually did a whole like history video, um, it'll be up in the cards if you want to kind of learn more about it. This was a specialized version of XP that was actually uh, that, or that had support until 2019. So the support has ended now, but people found out that by adding a uh, registry key, you can actually um, trick Windows Update into thinking that you were running that specialized version of XP and get all of the updates that Microsoft still continued to push out for it. So it kind of was an unofficial way to uh, extend Windows XP's you know support deadline by five more years. So this service pack has actually um, applied that uh, registry tweak for us. So we can now, when we go into Windows Update, 
uh, actually see all of those POS ready updates and actually download them if we want to. So that is definitely very, very useful. It's super nice. And again, it's something that you don't have to do uh, yourself. Now, it's a very simple tweak. I actually did like a whole video back in 2014 showing people how to do this. It's a super simple tweak to do. Um, but it's just nice that the actual developers or uh, the single developer or group of developers, whoever made this uh, unofficial service pack, kind of integrated that into it. So it's kind of a one stop shop. So you also get the Internet Explorer updates, the uh, BitLocker program and uh, XPS viewer on top of the registry tweak that actually let you uh, get those, um, you know, updates for POS ready. Um, but overall, guys, that is a very, very brief look at Windows XP's unofficial service pack Four. again, I will have this link down below if you guys want to actually go ahead and check this out for yourself and see what it's all about. Um, obviously, as I kind of said at the beginning of the video, I would not recommend and I don't think anybody would actually recommend using um, Windows XP with this unofficial pack or not as your primary operating system, because even with all of these updates, it is still not secure to use in a modern environment. Uh, environment but yeah guys that is going to wrap it up for today's video if you guys enjoyed this one definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that i upload a new video which i do every single week on this channel and as always guys i just want to thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video